Hey guys, it's Katie, Miss Natural Life. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. And you are watching part three of my mini Shea Moisture Blitz. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my thoughts and opinions on the Shea Moisture Tahitian Nani and Minoy Smooth and Repair Hairline. Okay guys, I've received these items from Shea Moisture for the purpose of a review, but you know how I roll. I keeps it real on my channel because I'm Team Shea Moisture, right? I'm a Shea Moisture junkie at heart, but in all of my videos, I give my honest opinion and I'm not paid to review this, okay? And I'm going to share my thoughts on the Smooth and Repair Conditioning Shampoo, the Rinse Out Conditioner, and the Smooth and Repair High Shine Glosser. So I have had my eye on this line for quite some time because I was curious to find out how it worked with my natural hair. This line is specialized for wavy, curly, and frizzy hair and it contains keratin, peptides, and botanical extracts to help control frizz, smooth, and cleanse. And so I know a lot of people use this line for heat styling and I'm not really a heat styler. I might heat style my hair maybe once a year just to you know blow it out just for fun but I'm not really into heat styling that much but it is super hot in North Carolina okay let me tell y'all something in North Carolina I don't know how it is in other places why well, I know how it is in Texas and California because I've been there but in Atlanta so yeah if you live in any of these hot places it's hot y'all it's doggone hot but North Carolina is not only hot it's humid so when I go outside my hair turns into puffball city okay because I have highly porous hair so I will moisturize set my hair and then go outside and it explodes on the top of my head that is my normal experience Summertime is a very hard time for me in my natural journey. It's just hard for me to keep the moisture in my hair and hard to keep it from spazzing out. So I was really interested to see how this line would work on my hair. We start off with the smell. All the line smells the same and it has this light florally scent, but not like flowery, like an obnoxious scented, but like a soft, you know, nice scent. So I really like the scent of the product. I tried the Smooth and Repair Conditioning Shampoo first, of course, and I really, really like it. My staple line from Shea Moisture is the line with the orange label, and it's the uh, Moisture Retention Shampoo, which, you know, it keeps my hair from feeling stripped. Um, I am a shampooer. I do like to shampoo my hair, especially my scalp, because it keeps me from having flakes and keeps it from itching and breakouts and all those types of things. So I am a firm believer in shampoo, um, but I have to be careful what types of shampoo. So Shea Moisture Shampoo normally works great for me. Those are my staples. So I didn't hesitate to try this. Um, and it was actually very moisturizing and, you know, easy to, to apply, easy to get through my hair. Um, it gave nice suds and when it rinsed out, I rinsed out nice and clean. My scalp was clean, but, you know, it wasn't strip feeling. So I really enjoyed that. So of course, next I moved on to the Smooth and Repair Rinse Out Conditioner. And it says it's going to control, frizz, hydrate, and protect. And so I used it. I felt like I used a lot of this. And this, this conditioner is much looser than the normal Shea Moisture conditioners that I use. It's very, very loose, as you can see in the bottle. Hopefully you can. It just rolls around, whereas the other shampoos are a lot thicker. Like I have to, you know, press it out and it's more buttery shampoo. This one is much looser. So I didn't notice that off the bat. Also, I felt like I used a lot of it. I felt like I needed to use a lot to coat my hair. Maybe I didn't, but that's okay. I mean, it applied well, it went on nice and smoothly, and I rinsed it out. After using the shampoo and conditioner, you know, I just set my hair, and normally what I've been doing is I will just put my hair in big chunky twists and let my hair dry for a couple of hours and then come back and do a, you know, set, you know, set my hair with a styler. And so actually I forgot, I fell asleep, because you know how we do, we start late at night, we got no business doing that, but we always do, or I always do. And so I woke up the next day, and I had not used, you know, a styler, it was just using the, these products and my leave-in conditioner. So when I go to take the twists out, I'm just like, oh well, I just gotta roll with it. So I did go ahead and use the Smooth and Repair High Shine Glosser just on my hands as I took the twist out because you know I had places to go and stuff to do and I didn't have time to be worried about my hair. So I untwisted the twist thinking that I'm just gonna have to end up putting it in a bun because it wasn't prepared for like a defined twist out. You know, I didn't set it for like a defined twist out. 
So I undid the twist and I was shocked. I was like, oh my gosh, it was like really, really defined and really, really curly. And I was like, hmm, I wonder how this is going to end up at the end of the day. And honestly, I was expecting for it to end up in a frizzball mess, okay? Because that's just what happens when I don't like put the extra butter on to style my hair. Well, it didn't do that. And I noticed throughout the day that my curls did not frizz and it was very, very, very hot that day. I noticed my curls didn't frizz out of control, that it didn't get dry feeling, it just felt really nice and it looked really nice. And I got so many compliments on my hair that day. I was like, whoa. So when I got home that evening, I was just like, wow, my hair really turned out nice. It stayed nice. And I was like, well, let me see how long I can stretch these curls because it was very, very nice. So I pineapple and the next day, beautiful curls again so when I got up in the morning to just fluff my hair I just put a little bit more of the glosser on there and went on about my day third day came and I was like okay really you know it's not gonna last for three days because I'm not a repeat person I'm not the type of girl that can just pineapple my hair and then keep going for four and five and seven and ten days that's not how my hair works I normally have to retwist it I'm a retwister I can't just do that but it lasted three days without me even retwisting it and it was still curly and it was still defined and I was like wow oh my gosh you know so the fourth day I did decide that I wanted to add some moisture so I just lightly misted my hair and put some more glosser on and went on about it so I wore that twist out puff style for like five days without retwisting my hair and when I got ready for you know the weekend and everything I was just like amazed at how long it really lasted and I was just in awe so I don't know what they do to this I'm not a hair expert or anything like that I do need to probably research keratin and peptides and all that other stuff but I can say that I saw a noticeable difference in the amount of frizz and the amount of you know tangling and and just craziness that normally happens in my hair and so I'm like wow if it did like that on my natural hair then I can't imagine how well it's going to do when I actually heat style my hair so I do plan on heat styling my hair before the end of the year and I'm definitely going to try this out on my heat style hair I think it will you know control the frizz smooth and shine because it did that for my hair in its natural state so I was just really really impressed with that so I did use the line for two weeks straight you know it's been hot and my hair you know did well with it so I really really like this line I think that it's quality um, and I just did not expect that from it I mean I always expect good from Shea Moisture but I didn't expect it to be like that good but it really did work on my hair and I was just like wow my husband was even like your hair is like behaving differently it's, it's what, what did you do to it <laughs> and so I really really like this so please be sure to give me some feedback let me know in the comment section if you tried out the Tahitian Nani and Minoy smooth and repair line let me know your thoughts on it and please let me know if you've used it with heat styling let me know because I'm very very interested to find out you know how it worked for you okay so please 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 be sure to leave that in the comment section as always thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and please follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Also, check out the rest of the reviews in my flips, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!